Good afternoon, Map here at Map Investments, bringing you a video on today's market action. Uh, today's April 11th. Uh, remember, the, the the market is closed on Friday, so we have a short week um, with Good Friday coming up this Friday. And uh, Easter's around the corner is crazy. We're almost, uh, you know, almost through April. Time is flying. So anyways, the markets, um, if you watched my video last night, talked about interest rates going higher. Um, and that's what happened today. Um, so bonds got hit and so did the stock market. So it's a very, very tough environment to make any money. Um, and I did mention in my video that, you know, it's kind of like a stock make, a stock picker's market. Absolutely for sure. Um, if you're long the indexes, you got hurt. If you're long bonds, you got hurt. So not a place, not a lot of places to hide um, besides cash. Um, and I really don't like being in too much cash because uh, with inflation at at eight percent, seven percent, I think this week we get inflation uh, data, which is going to be very, very important to the markets. Um, that eats away your purchasing power. So you always got to try and find that bull market and that's what i'm here to try and help you do uh dow jones were down over one percent down 413 points s p down 75 points uh handles uh down almost 1.7 percent nasdaq down 300 uh down over two percent and the small caps held in there um against the other indexes uh not down not even one percent vix up 15 percent up to 24 plus um the 10 years at 277 uh oil uh got hit down to 94.29 uh gold uh 1948 it was up all day uh, and silver was as well palladium steady after five percent jump on russia supply risk uh my favorite palladium play is sw sbsw a miner uh, cryptos got hit. Bitcoin fell 8%, uh, down 3,700. Ethereum down 10%, down 320. Um, and you guys know how I feel about crypto. I'd rather be in silver and gold. Uh, if you want to allocate some of your portfolio to uh, Bitcoin or, or Ethereum, go ahead. But really just make a small percentage of, of, of you know, of what you got in your basket. Um, on the news front, I mean, it, today was just basically rates. Uh, it's the highest level in three three years. I had mentioned in my video last night. Um, and just looking at bar chart today, it was just a bloodbath. I mean, we can go through here pretty quickly through bar chart. Um, everything was down. Um, Ford was up a little bit. Not a fan. I'd rather play the auto automakers through miners. These these EV vehicles and these vehicles need metal. So you have to. Um, I mean, I, you you need the metal. So you, I, I feel like you need to. You know, miners are just in the first inning of where they need to be. I think they're undervalued. AMC was up. I don't know why that was up, but um, you know. Don't see anything there. Twitter, you know, getting rebound with uh, Elon Musk. And it is undervalued compared to some of the other tech names out there. AMD is undervalued. Um, NVIDIA is undervalued. Um, Baba is undervalued. But you got uh, China regulation risk. Um, Vera, Vura, whatever you want to call it, they had some news on some COVID uh, pill that 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 did good. Uh, was saying that it did pretty good. Uh, shows here that uh, says here that that a candidate reduced deaths by fifty five in hospitalized patients, an interim analysis of phase three study. So that's that's huge. That's big news. So I guess we gotta watch that one. Um, Carnival was up some. General Motors was up some. American Airlines. This one, I uh, Borg Warner. I think they do transmissions. 
or something with vehicles, need to look into them. Let me write them down in my notes, in my notepad. Um, I did see it today, but I didn't do any play in there. Um, BRCC, I, I've been watching this one. It's been up. Uh, I think they do coffee, and it must be like a new issue. Um, up one and a oh, one point five billion dollar company. I don't know much about this company. I have to do more research on this company. Um, not sure what the deal is with this company. Um, what else? Walmart got hit pretty hard. AT and T. I don't know what they did. I think they spun off their discovery. Maybe I haven't read the news on it. Really, not much interest there. Um, Disney down. Billy, a video game thing from from China. I think there was some China news on video games that they weren't going to be so tight on video games. GameStop up. Shopify had a I think ten for one split news. So that's why I was up. Uh, Mosaic, my video, my last video on my biggest winner, Mosaic, was up a nickel, but at least it didn't go down. It continues to to trend higher or or, or form a new base. Um, just trying to see what are some of the. So so it seemed like some of the cruise lines were up today. Um, so you can see as we go through here the the uh, the options on the stocks and the equities. A lot of stuff is just red. Not not a lot of green stuff. Um, looks like a lot of airlines were up, but um, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of red. So a tough day in the markets. Um, I did today. Oh, well, the futures actually opened up. So let's take a look at the futures. Ten year, two almost two eighty. Uh, let's see what the dollars at. Futures open at six. So I decided to do a quick video before I take my daughter to soccer. Uh, dollar is at a hundred almost. One second, guys. Good, good, good. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, oil uh, getting a bounce back. It was sold off big, and I think it will. I think it will come back. Uh, Bitcoin. I, I just don't know what to tell you about Bitcoin. Put a little bit of your allocation if you want to speculate there. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. I I rather have gold and silver. Um, 
that's just my my two cents on that. And uh, we're starting to get a little bit of bounce in the in the after hours here. Let's see how how it continues over the, overnight. Um, natural gas has been very bullish. It's up a little bit again, and uh, pretty much it just opened. So I already gave you the data on uh, on the um, on the markets today. And sorry about that interruption. I had to take that call. It's really important. I'm sorry. On these under ten dollar stocks today, um, these are the top. So this little screener here gives you about a hundred stocks and top composite rating. Um, it pretty much the composite rating combines all the ratings into one, with the emphasis on earnings per share and relative strength index. So uh, these, you know, I got a lot of these small caps. Um, Let's look at the ones with the biggest volume today. So land, um, these guys are from Brazil, and they had huge volume today. And um, it was just all over the place, but it did end up green on the day. And it's up in the post market. These guys have a, uh, a yield of 5.83, and they're going to pay it on the 14th of April, so in a couple days. So these guys, they... Um, They do crop production uh, in Brazil, basically, and that real estate, grain, sugar cane, cattle raising, cotton, and, and other commodities. So I'm in that name. Um, I'm in that name. What else here did we see today that was kind of uh, uh, added a little bit of it? I don't remember. Oh, we can look up, pull up my my orders here. I had 37 fills today. I don't know if I did add some EGY. I don't, did I add EGY? Uh, I had to close some stuff because it's going to expire this Friday. So I did it today because Friday is the holiday. So. Oh, I thought I added to EGY. Didn't add to EGY, but I have a lot of positions in EGY. So I own uh, self EBR, uh, Brazilian um, utility, um, and it does pay a nice dividend of 8%. So, and it pays it on the 12th of May. So if you want to try and accumulate some of these shares, by all means, I think it would be prudent to. Um, if you look at the chart on EBR, here's the 20-year chart. So this was a $23 stock at one point back in 09. Um, got down to 11, uh, a dollar, I'm sorry, and uh, you know, and then up to seven. And it's just been just training, 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 training range, pretty much range bound. But if you look at the uh, the chart, it's been showing some life as investors look for yield. Um, you can see it's kind of just like breaking out. It's, it's, it's going. Um, and here's the weekly chart. So if we can get over this little hump here, which the high here was... Uh, 961 I think you could see some blue skies ahead so let me put this on your chart and also you can accumulate from here to May 12th and collect a dividend of 8% and that's pretty nice so that's one name to look at I really really like that name especially because of the dividend uh, so you got two right here land and EBR paying nice dividends with pretty big volume uh, ASC is a shipper. I own it. Didn't do nothing, and I own most of these. Just small, nothing, nothing big. Uh, EGY I own. I added, I added stock in Ring Energy today. Uh, and Diana Shipper, I own. I added some stock. Um, so Ring Energy. So I got 200 shares at 387, down a smidge, 
and then uh, Dana shipping uh, 509 average is at 456 I got 200 shares uh, land I have 200 shares at 783 and uh, EBR I have 100 shares at 835 and I think I might pick up some more EBR because I'm interested in accumulating some of this stuff um, before that dividend dividend payout I would like to collect that dividend of 8.36 um, not a lot of other stuff here that was really significant on the move um, nothing really here I mean it was a tough day in general so nothing here on the upside on the downside EGY VIST Diana Shipper. I did uh, add some FLMN and CDEV through some call options and that was pretty much it um, I wanted to buy a little bit of BORR but I would like to pick it up under four um, and that's pretty much it on this uh, scan on the top uh, under 10 stocks uh, I did sell my spy and I'll get back in lower um, and that's and you know I didn't want to be overly exposed to a spy because I do have my 401k as well that's allocated I'm sure to a spy it's all correlated um, so um, I, I think we're gonna test the low and we might go lower we'll see what happens but you gotta be uh, a picker a stock picker you gotta focus on these metal and miners I think energies will still do well I think um, you got the mine ag agriculture the shippers uh, are ones to look at and um, there might be a play in some of these uh, um, REITs um, that that uh, the equity REITs that that rent apartments and housing and stuff like that but I haven't seen too many good ones I'm gonna try and find some of those um, oh, and insurance companies. I did mention in my video that I do like, like, uh, Allstate, for example. Um, it was up today. Um, so I do like the insurance companies. I forgot the name of the ETF that I bought, but I'll mention it in my next video. I got, I, I bought a call option in there just to get the basket of them. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to cut this video. I got to take the daughter to soccer. I uh, hope you have a good evening. And if I see anything else prudent, I'll do another video. But if not, I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.